With a gamma jump and a wink, She-Hulk, the last superhero in a series, landed. The new show streaming on Disney and features Tatiana Tatiana Maslery as Jennifer Walters, who seen by Bruce Banner, who, after an accident, is found with capabilities similar to Green Avenger. When the trailer abandoned many fans for the first time focused on the special effects and computer animation of the highly appreciated Marvel character. Having seen the first four episodes, here is what works and does not work in She-Hulk, Lawyer-in-Law. Smash. Maslany and the rest of the distribution. She-Hulk, alias lawyer Jennifer Walters, has a hard time balancing his legal career as a superhero. Maslany won a legion of fans for his representation of several characters cloned on Orphan Black. And while this spectacle has demonstrated its versatility, She-Hulk lets Maslany bend her comic muscles, perfectly channel the attitude of a legal eagle exhausted by his channel colleagues. This She-Hulk is not only a female version of Hulk, but someone who is physically better to mix their sides of Hulk and humans. While his cousin, Mark Ruffalo, playing a more learned, smart Hulk warns her to return too early to her career, Jennifer is impatient to go back to law. She wants to succeed in life alone, daily deserves, but quickly learns that it is her alter ego to green skin that obtains matches on dating applications. The chief writer and creator of the series Jessica Gao, who worked on Rick and Morty and Robot Chicken, completes the series with a beautiful stable of characters. Ruffalo is there like the Obi-Wan of his superhero trip. Ginger Gonzaga adds a good zing as Nikki, Hal Pal de Jennifer, and Benedict Wong returns like Wong, continuing his sequence as cameo king of Marvel Universe. And although Jennifer works for a law firm specializing in metahumans opens the show to a multiverse of possibilities, give me fewer boring lawyers and more android. Pass. The CGI. When the series of the series arrived, many fans complained about the computer animation of the title character. When Jennifer turns into She-Hulk, it is not entirely sensational but not as bad of Shrek level. In the only first episode, there seems to be a distracting mixture of hues for the Jade Giant. Deciding to go completely digital for a character is always a risk, but someone as expressive as She-Hulk brings an additional level of difficulty. The first episode has an impressive level of action with a 